Another beautiful morning in the Mara. I wonder what we'll see today. It's because you already know. You've read the video title. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to see. So, Carlos, what's the plan today? Maybe we have to check what is gonna, going to happen on our way because sometimes we just think of just looking for the lions, but definitely you are going to go to see them and you can see the elephant instead. Oh. So, the only the best thing is just only to keep on tracking anything around. Yeah. So, we always, Carlos and I, before we leave in the morning, we always say, So, what's the plan? But we've learned every time we try and make a plan, we always get distracted with something else. <laughs> so there's no point trying to make a plan when on safari. It does pay off sometimes. They say, oh, I want to see elephants today, and that's the only goal. And yeah, you'll probably see some elephants. But we've learned the best way is to just drive around and see what reveals itself. Lovely lilac breasted roller. They're very vibrant, very colourful, and goes well with the sunrise. So, Koros has just spotted a female lion and she's walking on the road right towards us. So, we think we're probably just going to position the car and wait for her to come to us. Great spotting, man, <laughs> nice. So where is she? This guy is just coming towards us. Just, just... So we are going to go follow her now. I know I didn't get any good photos just then. I tried putting on a 70 to 200 to capture the whole of her, but being she's on the road and I mean as a sighting that was awesome to be that close eye to eye with a lion, female lion, brilliant. But uh, yeah she's still going this way and she's calling for the other members of the pride so we will see if we can find the other lions.
just got a pitch I think I'm happy with, but I didn't click record. But there are lots of clips of me lying on the floor with the lion walking past, but the one where I actually think I got a half decent photo, I didn't record. But that's probably because I was so focused on taking pictures and not trying to get a good video clip. So it's quite difficult to do both. And you know what they say, men can't really multitask, so. Ah, but still, awesome. So it looks like she's just started to hunt. Head down, very focused. Stay off over there, you can see the tail swishing. And go. She's yeah. back out again. I, I think this thing has decided to go I hunting, think, maybe. Yeah, she is almost deciding because there's a herd of impala just up in front of her. Yes. And now the long grass, bushes, wood, yes. she's got some cover. Yeah. So she might, she might try. We've been thinking that she would for a while, but. She looks quite focused now, so I might put this camera down and we might go a little bit further forward just in case yeah. she does hunt. Yes. Oh. <laughs> cool. So, what did you think of that chorus? <laughs> ah, it was fantastic. Fantastic. So, next thing we have to do now, maybe to just drive in front of them. We might be lucky to see them again. If not, I think they might have just crossed to the other side of Mara Triangle. Yeah. So, let's yeah. just drive. Okay, yeah. right on. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not over yet. <laughs> yes, man. Uh, we, chorus was like, ah, oh, well, we'll just check this one area and see if they're there. As soon as we pulled in, she was walking past and she found her sister. And they literally just ran out into the open, playing around. They're very happy to have found each other. Ah, oh, fantastic, fantastic. So, because there's elephants, I'm gonna change that darker to the 70 to 200 so I can try and fit the lions and the elephant in the same frame. I'm going to stop down to probably about 6.3. Be enough depth of field so you can tell what's what's going on behind the lions.
Well, that was one incredible morning. Not what we expected at all. We both woke up and said, what's the plan? And kind of looked at each other and thought, well, we don't really have one. Yeah. So to be able to follow a lion all morning, you know, that doesn't happen very often. And the fact that she was up and active, ah, oh, fantastic. Now I know I didn't really explain an awful lot about what I was doing while taking photos. Lions are, you know, you've got to be quite quiet. If I was talking the whole time, then she would have got a bit frustrated and may have spooked her. Um, and she did walk past our Jeep quite a lot. And we want it to be clear that, you know, we weren't hassling her. We weren't always driving in front and, you know, being really close. We, uh, we made sure we were on a parallel track drove far in front and sat and waited because we knew she was going along that road for a long time. So we made sure we were you know, really far in front, waited sometimes five minutes for her to come close and then walk past the Jeep. So we were already there. She was comfortable with us being there because um, you know the worst thing is to just stress out these animals and especially lions. Um, and so yeah, I didn't really explain what type of framing I was doing, composition, settings. But what I did do, just for my own sake, was I tried all my lenses. So I tried my wide, which is a 24 to 70. Um, you may have seen I put it on the floor, uh, used a remote trigger. Um, I set it up wrong, so none of the pictures worked and she didn't come close enough for the picture to work. Um, my favorite, my pride and joy, my 70 to 200. This was great, but what I learned from while she was on the road, with that lens, you can see the road in the shot. And personally, I don't like having any man-made elements in the photo, and obviously there was a road. So, you know, you've got to be quite selective with that. I used it when both of the sisters were together and they're walking in front of the elephants to try and get the elephants in the background. Um, and I also used my trusty, 300 f2.8 this thing was great for when she kind of came close to try and get a headshot she never actually looked directly into the lens so i don't think i got any good kind of close-up shots uh, but she did go on a track with lots of overgrown grass it's one that we haven't used in a while so it didn't really look like a road and i was able to get some nice shots of that typically it was the only time I didn't click record on that on this camera here so you missed it but you get the idea you know I hopefully I filmed that a few times and in different ways to get a sense of what it's like when a lion walks right past the Jeep. Now Chorus has been an absolute legend today you know spotted it straight away you know what 20 minutes after leaving the camp yeah. found a lion. Yeah. Oh, I've been wanting to do a lion episode for a long time but you know you just can't plan these things <laughs> just can't plan them exactly exactly um, but we are here we're just by the Mara River and, you know you can hear elephants in the background so we might just poke our heads around to see if any elephants are crossing if there are I'll film it but if not I think this is the end of the video but once again chorus Cheers, man. thank you man yeah. <laughs> awesome awesome yeah. morning yeah and yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really need them. Uh, but until then, have a good one. Yes.